How you doing, Paul from Flying Colors Painting? And this is our Frequently Asked Questions section of our website. And today I'm answering the question, is it okay to paint brick, you know? There's lots and lots of schools of different schools of thought on this whole idea. Uh, I've been researching uh, the, the uh, internet, uh, searching for, you know, what opinions there are. The articles that are written on the internet um, can be, uh, you're either for or against painting, uh, painting a brick. You're for it if you are a paint contractor, if you are a um, somebody who's selling your house, uh, you know, you are against it if you are a paint, uh, if you are a brick restorer company. I'm noticing those kind of trends or somebody that specializes in cleaning surfaces on the exterior of houses, they're complaining that, uh, you know, they can't get in to fix it, you know. Um, so uh, let me explain how, what I found on here. Um, brick needs to breathe. So painting it will choke the ventilation from the brick and it will immediately start to degrade. I've heard that and that was written uh, on a website from a brick restoring company. You know, paint manufacturers, paint contractors will address the instant gratification, you know, and the, uh, the curb appeal, the different flashy colors you could get and the immediate difference that you can, you can have in a couple of days by painting the brick. Uh, knowing my way around the construction world for, for lots of years. Um, okay, I know that vapor barrier, which is a six millimeter uh, plastic seal underneath the drywall, uh, directly on the framing, uh, and we, we seal all that in with acoustic sealer, that'll prevent moisture from leaving your house. Uh, house wrap, which is on the outside of the framing walls, will allow moisture to leave, but not to enter. So um, it's almost like a one-way valve. So the exterior brick, uh, when painted, it has built-in slots at the bottom of the row of the brick. Every third or fourth slot is halfway empty. So that'll allow uh, air to get in back of it to, uh, to, to dry it out. Or if, you know, by, for any reason, moisture gets trapped underneath, it's got a place to escape, you know? Um, so the exterior of the, of the brick, you know, it'll create a surface, um, uh, once it's painted that will allow water to just run down and it won't absorb into the brick. So, um, you've also got on the inside of the brick, itself it's not painted so there is that that moisture that can it, the breathability is still there there's an air there's an airflow that goes through it it's still breathing so i mean in my head it makes sense that you know this is not a uh, uh, a deal breaker if somebody wants to paint their brick you know however i will give you this caveat once you paint it you need to repaint it. You know, it's like that with everything. It's like that with the deck. It's like that with siding. You know, as soon as you paint it, you're going to need in probably 10 or 15 years to paint it again. You know, so there will be that ongoing maintenance cost. You know, you can probably get 10 or 15 years from a painting job, you know, if it's done right, you know, uh, but the right now factor is big, you know, some people who are uh, who will do and keep the brick the same when they have a repair or when they're putting in a window or a, let's say a bigger patio door they're never going to be able to get the exact same brick to match up so you can have a mixed matched house so i mean painting a house at that point uh makes a lot more sense you know i run a painting business so you might think that i have an ulterior motive for you know encouraging brick painting but honest, you know, I hate brick painting, <laughs> you know, although the end result is stunning, the amount of labor involved, uh, you know, uh, involved with scaffolding, brushing between the bricks, it takes, brick is very thirsty. It'll take sometimes three or four coats to get on there. So uh, even with the sprayer, the labor is increasingly, in, uh, you know, you're doing this all day long, you're pushing a brush all day long. And, uh, you know, uh, so I'm biased, believe me, 
but I can't think of a logical reason not to paint your brick. So the choking uh, of the breathing just doesn't hold water, so to speak, you know? So uh, I hope this helps. Uh, I don't think it's a big deal to paint brick. And uh, logically, in my head, uh, I would feel absolutely comfortable painting my house, my brick house, uh, with, with a good quality paint that I don't have to you know, worry about for 10 or 15 years. Please check out our other Frequently Asked Questions videos that I have. And this is Paul from Flying Colors Painting. That is how we roll.